Hi guys, it's Huff. I am back again and this is going to be the update of my team project pan for 2020, which I'm doing in collaboration with a whole bunch of other people. This was started by Haley and Kat from Beauty News. They of course will be linked down below and I'll link some other people that I've been watching that have come along and joined my channel as well. So that's really good. Um, I can't remember off the top of my, like I don't have it written down in front of me, which I need to do. I have my spreadsheet on my computer, um, but I'm a little disorganized, but I will try to do it in the same order I did it the first time, but no promises. Um, so I'm going to start with my face primer, which was the Maybelline Baby Skin, which I don't know exactly where it is, but I can kind of fold it about there. So I'm guessing that's about where I am. Um, I haven't really worn makeup a whole lot in January. It was kind of hot a lot. I wasn't feeling the best. Um, and yeah, so I, I didn't really wear makeup that often. But I did use this every time I did put makeup on, except for that one time. I got three quarters of the way through my makeup and realized I hadn't put primer on. <laughs> it happened. Um, my foundation was the NYX Total Control, which I mix with other foundations. Um, it has had a tiny bit of movement. You don't really use a lot of this. So uh, there's a little black line underneath the great big silver line, which is basically where I am at in that now. The uh, concealer is the Maybelline Fit Me in Ivory. Again, it's kind of really hard to see, but I kind of have to scrape to a little bit to get it out, but it's sort of where that black line, the thicker black line is. So it's kind of hard to tell with those. Plus I only just did my makeup, so they haven't really settled properly. Uh, the two powders that I have in this project, uh, this is the Artist uh, Selection uh, HD. Uh, how artist selection is crown product so the silver line was where we started and the black line is where we are now so progress made on that one i pretty much only use that under my eyes to set my under eye concealer then we have this one which is the physician's formula mineral finishing veil it's in a completely different container because that container is terrible um, and the silver line is where we started and this line black line is basically where we are now so again progress has been made yay for bronzer i had in the clean color tanned raw in fiji matte for some reason i keep getting hard pan on this which is why it's all scratched up now um the hard pan just makes it hard to pick up product so I have to like scrape it off um, not my favorite product but it, I'm using it occasionally can't really complain the next one is my contour which is the Havana contour which is that right there from Australis um, it has started to develop a little tiny bit of a dip in the middle which is really really hard to see but I can see it to my naked eye I really like that contour it's a really good color for someone with really pale skin so if you're in Australia and you have pale skin the Havana contour that you can get in the um, Australis put it together kit it's like a in most price lines it's like a stand on its own that has just the little pockets around it, like a circular one. The, um, yeah, the make your own one. I don't know if they're still doing it, but that's what, that's what that is. Um, I actually have two of them. They gave me one in one of their gift bags, plus I bought one. Um, the bl uh, blush is the Lacura Soft Rose Blush. It's rose on one side and soft rose on the other, apparently. It's only half a pan it's okay it's a blush <laughs> um the highlighter i'm using is the models prefer daybreak ombre highlighter in 
first light which is kind of champagne to purple it's really bitty like it's got little bits in it and it's quite glittery as well on the skin not that I'm complaining I quite like that um, but just as a side note that is what it's like um, again it's fine it's not my favorite highlighter but a good reason to use it up and I know um, a lot of people are like oh, you can't use up highlighters I can use up a highlighter I probably use too much or I use really bad highlighters so I have to use a lot but I have actually panned three highlighters now um, yeah that's a product I can pan without too much trouble <laughs> uh, my finishing spray is the NYX dewy finish finishing spray um, it's less than half full I mean these aren't very big they're, they're, they're quite they're only like 60 mil and maybe I use, again use too much but I kind of feel like I need it um, I don't like the smell of the next one which is why I wanted to use this one up first um, and yeah but it, it does its job I guess it stops my skin from looking so powdery but uh, yeah it's I reckon this if I actually wore makeup more than like three times this would be uh, finished by the next update brow products um, I have two of those one of them is the OXX eyebrow pencil in no name it is too warm it is almost orange on my <laughs> very very pale hair um, I use uh, the designer brands uh, extender brow which helps darken them up a little bit and take some of the warmness out um, but I have used I've had to sharpen it every time I've used it so uh, that was where we were when we started and that's where we are now so I've used quite a bit of it um, I do not like the fact that it is too warm but a good reason to uh, try to use it up it may be one of the first things to get switched out uh, after three months if like I just if I can't handle it anymore the fact that it's too warm but yeah there's that and the other brow product I'm using that's in the project is the tint my brow from Australis in blonde it's really hard to tell how much is in these they're like a squeezy they're like the Ico mascaras um, yeah squeezy tube um, it's sort of all stuck to the side so I kind of have to dig around the sides a little bit it's fine it helps tone down the warmness of the pencil which is always a good thing um, moving on to eyes so eye primer is the revolution uh, eye primer it was brand new at the start of this project it had never been used you can actually see a little scrape mark here but you don't use enough for it to be obvious this is one of those things that probably I'll be half done by the end of the year um, but yeah it's it's gone it seems to do fine my eyeshadow doesn't seem to move around um, so yeah um, okay so eyeliners we have the mellow gel eyeliner um, you can see that it's got it's been used <laughs> uh, <it laughs> I just realized what that looks like um, that was not intentional get your minds out the gutter or maybe I'm the one who just needs to get my mind out the gutter uh, yeah so I've used it it's good I um, enjoy using it uh, the other th eyeliners I had in are the Le Crayon Col Noir from Lancome for some reason I forgot to measure this last time so um, yeah I have used it I've sharpened it at least once um, I actually try to sharpen eyeliners if they're sharpenable ones every time I use them because if there's any bugs or anything when you sharpen it you remove that the other eyeliner is the Rimmel Exaggerate in the Nude, uh, which is a nude eyeliner meant for the waterline. Um, and I've had, I actually broke the end off of it while I was using it, so that's why it went from there to there. Um, I've actually only used it once. <laughs> the mascara I am using is the Watch Your Type from The Balm. Um, 
it's fine. It's growing on me. Um, I wouldn't say that the stats are necessarily um, correct on this. Bold, massive and defined. Defined, yes. And black, yes. Not really massive. Um, but it's okay. It's, it's a decent mascara. Which it should be for the freaking price because it's not cheap. <laughs> Alright, moving on to lips. I had the lip liner, the Inoxa lip liner in Mocha Rush. I actually didn't use that one very much. I used the other one I have in a different project. Um, so it's like the movement is minimal. I think I used it once. And I think I only used it to line my lips rather than fill my lips in like I usually do. Uh, lipstick is, I changed that over when I did this video a month ago, to the MAC Vegas Vault. Um, and again, I forgot to measure it. Uh, Vegas Vault is kind of like an orange lipstick. I have worn it, um, but because I forgot to measure it last time, I don't actually know where it is. Uh, the other lip, one of the other lip products, my liquid lip, is the NYX Liquid Suede in Teen Cookies. Again, I have used this, but you can't see where it's at. So, <laughs> And the lip gloss was the uh, Wine or Mine from Maybelline. Again, I've used it, but not enough that you would actually notice any difference. And the last one, oh, no, there's another, another one after that. Uh, <laughs> The lip balm is the Taste of the Rainbow lip balm from Prettiest for Your Face. I didn't actually measure this one either. This is probably the product I use the most. Um, I have like an inch of it left. Um, I, I really like it. It smells like Skittles. It's great. And the last thing that I had put in at the intro is the Lacura Enchant hand cream. In Lotus Flower and Pink Grapefruit I was finishing off another one which I did finish off and I have started using this I don't know where I am in it and it doesn't you can't it's too much air in it for you to bend it but it'll it's probably down about about there I've used it multiple times again it's a product I probably use more than anything else um, um, so at the end of the last video, I had said that I was going to put in some skincare when I had used up some skincare, uh, cause I didn't want to put stuff in that was almost done specifically the serum and the moisturizer I was using. Um, so those things have now been finished. So I am adding in some skincare to this project. So we have a lip balm. This is the jelly bean, jelly bean lip scrub from Pretty Sweet Face. I got it with the lip balm. Um, as you can see, I have actually used some of it. Um, I'm not very good at remembering to use it. But yeah, it tastes like sugar and smells like jelly beans and it's, it's fine. It's a good product. Um, it's basically just sugar um, flavoring and olive oil plus some uh, coloring. I have two eye creams that I am putting in. Um, I've actually ordered a micro scale so I can actually weigh my stuff, but it hasn't arrived yet. So I haven't been able to weigh any of this stuff. So next month I'll actually be weighing things. So um, so I have two eye creams because I use one. One of them lives in my bathroom, which I use at night when I've had a shower. And the other one lives by my computer where I do my makeup in the morning. Um, so the Elucent eye cream is the one I use at night. I have actually been using this for quite a while. Um, it's probably less than half full, but I can't see through it and I can't, like I can bend it, but I could bend it pretty much anywhere. So it's not easy to tell. Um, but yeah, that's the one that I use at night. It's fine. And the one that I use during the day is the Liqueur Renew Expert Double Effect Eye Gel. I actually have another one of these. This one I've been using for quite a while. It is an airless pump and I don't know how much is left in it, but it keeps on going. Uh, so 
I don't know. Uh, it'll be done when it's done. I like Alice Pumps for that exact reason. Um, then I have a serum, which I pretty much only use during the day because it sits with the other stuff. Really want one to use at night, but I don't have one in my collection at the moment. So, and I don't want to go buy one. Uh, but this is the La Cura Revive Moisture Boost Hyaluronic Activator Anti-Aging Stuff. Um, yeah, so I put this on and then I put my moisturizer SPF on. Um, yeah, again, Alice Pump. So uh, it'll be done when it is done. Um, I like that Lacura uses Ellis pumps and tubes for most stuff, so it's really easy to use them up. Um, or they use tubs. Not so keen about the tub thing, but mm. uh, the my day cream at the moment is the Lacura Daily Face SPF Q10 Anti Wrinkle. Uh, yeah, it's got stuff to help skin elasticity and it has grapeseed oil for moisture um it seems to be fine um, apparently you can apply it several times a day but that's not possible if you've got makeup on just saying <laughs> but it's probably not really a face moisturizer as such but that's what i use it for is to moisturize and it seems to do fine for that and the fact that it's got spf is great uh, I'm not great at doing skincare. I might be 44, but um, I'm pretty slack about my skincare. And I'm lucky that my family has some pretty good genetics when it comes to skin, like aging. So, like, my mother didn't look her age for, like, and she does no skincare at all. She literally washes her face in the shower with her body wash and very rarely applies moisturizer occasionally if she's like outside she'll put sunscreen on worst skincare person ever but uh yeah her skin up until she started to get sort of sick a little bit ago her skin was freaking amazing and like i when i did my beauty therapy course i'd like take her in and they'd be like i'd be like yeah she's like you know 60 uh she was probably like nearly 70 then and they're like you're kidding me and i'm like no she's only 70 she looked like 60 so i'm lucky i got those just kind of like genetics that i don't i haven't aged really rapidly which is great um but i do a shit ton more skincare than she does <laughs> so uh lastly we have the night cream that i haven't even started yet this is literally brand new i just pulled it out of my back stock because uh, I just finished the one that I had in my bathroom. So this is the Lacura Renew Expert Wrinkle Filling Night Cream. So 100% brand new. Still has the safety seal on it. Uh, so we'll see how long that takes me to use up. Because um, sometimes I forget to have a shower. And sometimes I have a shower but don't do my skincare. As I said, I'm, I'm a bit slack with that kind of shit. <laughs> yeah so um i hope i remembered everything and didn't forget anything i guess we'll find out when i go back and look at the first video which i probably won't even do uh, to be honest uh yeah so that is it for this update of the team project pan 2020 uh, if you want to subscribe, click the button down there. Click the little bell if you want to get notified of when I upload new content. Leave me a thumbs up if you like project type videos. And leave me a comment down below. I will like your comment and I will answer any questions you ask. And I'll see you in my next video. See ya.